Hi, Mom. Uh, this is how to cut a mango. I realized this was my last mango. So you look at it, you see the tapered end. This is the more blunt end with the um, stem. Um, <laughs> so you turn it on its side and then you take a knife and you cut straight through um, where the stem is and you look at it. Now that's a little hard to see, but you can kind of see that it goes straight like this. It goes straight across. Um, sometimes if you're not too short, you could take another, oh, see how it got tough there? You take another slice and you can see that it makes a straight line. That's where your seed is. So you know the seed is gonna go this way and it's gonna kind of bump out one way and bump out that way. So before I go any further, I'm gonna take it and peel it. So I peel it and I sing you a little song because it takes a little while to peel it. Do, 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 do. Um, so it will be slippery after you peel it. So be very careful. This is where, um, after we peel it, usually you want it to have that little softness to it. You know, it's just right. Some people like it not as ripe, but I think it tastes the best when it has a little push to it, but not too much. Or it can have that slight wrinkle. Okay. So now, um, you know, you take a look, you see that that's where it is. So I put that straight like a minus sign. Then I fillet it. So I will cut up and over like it's a little mound. All the way. Now see it's slippery, so you gotta be careful. Okay, so that is all good mango and I put that to the side. Here I can see where the middle of my, um, where the middle of my pit is. Then I flip it over because it gives it more stability. Again, it's like a minus sign. Again, I do the fillet up and down, trying to cut close-ish, but you can feel the pushback when you're cutting it. You can feel the rigidity against you. This is another perfect mango without any seed in it. That goes there. Now this one I didn't really cut close enough. So sometimes I'll go in, you can get a little bit of this side stuff, but you'll notice right when you're cutting it and I'll try to cut it really close. If I'm cutting it too close to the middle now and you'll see because I can't get through it it's like wood. But on this side, I can. So these two are still good pieces. So these are all my good pieces. These are all my bad pieces. Then I take a look at this. Sometimes if you're hungry, you could just take a couple of notches of this good stuff. What'll happen is it'll be fibrous and it'll get stuck in your teeth. So I'm gonna do it real quick and then I'll show you what it looks like. Ready? Mmm. Stuck in my teeth. But these are the fibrous parts and you can kind of see the seed in there. What happens is you can get your knife in there. Actually really cool looking if you ever felt like it. You want to really see that pit. This one's a little bit damaged from my neck, but this is the seed pocket. That's what you're cutting around. That's the seed pocket. Oh, hold that back, please. Okay, that's the whole thing that's inside. And then in there is this big old seed. So if you took this seed and you planted it in water, now this one's a little bit blah, but usually it's all this color. If you put it in water, a big sprout will come out. And that is my mango tutorial. Ta-da! This part over here, my, all your good stuff. These are pretty good on their own. These I just cut this way like this. And you can keep them as spears. Or if you're giving them and you want to use like a toothpick or something, you can cut them like that. And then you have all these nice little pieces and they taste delicious.